Here's a game and in this video we're gonna unmake it. Unmaking a game is as interesting as it is dangerous, so don't try this at home, we are professionals. Whenever you want to unmake a game, you first of all need to have a close look and analyze what you got. The game we have here is called Gova Day and it was submitted to the Ludum Dare 52 game gem. The topic of the gem was harvest. In Gova Day you harvest Gova fruits and decide who to feed them to. The more Gova fruit you leave on the field, the more Gova fruit you get in the next turn because they self-replicate. But at the same time you have to keep the village well fed. Every villager has a certain chance to survive to the next turn, a chance you can drastically increase by feeding them. Young children and elderly people are especially dependent on your harvest. Fine, and the kids get fruit too. Can't really spend anymore. Can't afford to, I'm sorry. They can also generate offspring, who will grow older and older every turn, and so do you. At the age of 70, the game is over, you're scored based on how well you did, and that's it. It's a little strategy risk management game. Here's where the dangerous part starts, cause how do we unmake this? <laughs> It's obvious. First of all, we have to undo the online presence of the game. Remove the game from Ludum Dare, download the game from Itch. Beginners often forget to undo all of the marketing assets, even the ones that were not used. So remember to be thorough when undoing an entire game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Is that what you had in mind? <laughs> oh. I can make more. <laughs> if you want to know if you're doing things correctly, check out the clock. If the timer of the game gem is going backwards, that's usually a very good sign. Next up, you want to try to add some small bugs to the game. You can use playtesters for this if you want to, cause sometimes they have really great ideas for small bugs you could implement. So for example, we added some bugs that draw UI stuff in the wrong order, make the hover feedback of certain buttons not work anymore, and a couple of other smaller things. I took a quick break to spit out some food and turn it back into individual ingredients. Then I got back to work. Next up we have to remove all of the polish and all of the sound effects. Yen is doing polish, I'm worrying about sound effects. Of course we're doing this properly so we have to take the individual sound effects and unmake them one by one. To do that I used a little program called me. First I split each sound into its individual components cause most sounds are actually a combination of multiple sounds. Then I try to sort these sounds back to where they came from. If I see a sound came from an online database, I take it, search for the correct position in the database and upload it. That way the sound effects are back where they belong and it's all cleaned up. Some sounds unfortunately need to go back into the microphone. These leaf sounds here are one example for that. Luckily I found an object in my room that I thought might be great at absorbing these sounds. Plenty. I know she looks a bit thirsty, but don't worry about her, she's fine. Let's try to make her absorb the sounds. It worked, very nice. Using my ink sucking pen I unchecked all of the things from my undo list that we already managed to undo. At the end of the day it's always a good moment to check out how the game looks like, cause Yen is gonna keep working through the night for a bit longer and is likely gonna undo a lot of what we can see here. Alright, I feel really awake, so time to go to bed. The next morning I watched Yen undo the art for the gravestones on his livestream. I left you the link to his YouTube channel in the description. Yen is great at unpainting art with his mouse only, so it was a pleasure to watch him work and remove the colors one layer at a time. Right now they're having different um, icons for the graves. And everyone who died, died happy so far because they were fed until the end of their lives. Finally, all that was left was some very poor placeholder art for the graves. So very, very good progress by Yen here. For me, it was now time to undo the music of the game. The game had a dynamic music system where the mood changes depending on how you're doing in the game. There's a neutral, a tense, a sad, and a happy track and they all seamlessly fade into each other so first of all I had to reverse engineer the code to get rid of that then I imported the finished music into my music program iterative processes are super important in game development so instead of removing all of the MIDI notes right away I decided to speed up the music and make it a lot worse I showed it to Yen and he confirmed that in fact it was a lot worse now didn't sound so musical to me personally so that worked out really well I gave it another go and this time I managed to get rid of all of the notes so music Music successfully cleaned up. Yeehaw! Using another iterative process, we made the name text look a lot worse and step by step deconstructed the UI to make it look uglier and uglier. Tea break. 
I removed graves from the code. At this point it was still way too easy to understand how the plant spreading worked, so we decided to remove the plant spreading animation. You gotta manage your time very carefully when unmaking a game, cause if you slip up, you might accidentally unmake parts of your life that you didn't mean to unmake, so be very careful, it's a dangerous craft. At this point the timer showed a bit more than a day, so that was pretty much perfect. Just, you know, take it one step at a time. Remember to regularly uncommit your changes from Git so your teammates receive the latest undos you did to the project. When you're done with an undo list, erase it. Say goodbye to how the game looks right now, cause Yen is gonna undo a lot of it overnight. And let's go to bed. The sunshine is gone. Who would have thought? We made sure to undo a lot of the playtesting that was done to the game, so we could then make more informed decisions about how to best destroy the balancing of the game. We could hide that and just replace it with just the visual. I carefully removed the victory and lose state of the game and undid all of the UI that was necessary for that. We destroyed the balancing even more to make the game less fun to play. And then it happened. Yen came in with a huge down date for the game. He uncommitted all of the art and suddenly we only got some very questions placeholder art left. Fantastic progress. I mean obviously Jens still had to undo all of the art in Photoshop but at least it was out of my sight already. I focused further on deconstructing the gameplay. For example I made it so you could feed multiple Jens to each Jonah. I mean, you could feed multiple fruits to each villager. Lots of uncoding and untesting. It can be quite tedious to uncode stuff in Unity, cause you gotta be very careful to remove code in the correct order. If you just remove everything at once, the leftovers are gonna be floating through the multiverse. You don't know which universe they're gonna end up in. That would be very irresponsible. Next up, I made it so you could not feed Jens, sorry, villagers at all anymore. I removed the drag and drop functionality from the game and went to sleep. In the next morning I noticed that the next turn button was still working, so I undid that, downgraded and removed the placeholder art. While the project was finally empty now, the most difficult part did still lie ahead, undoing the idea for the game from our brains. Is it possible? If you want to get rid of a thought, it usually helps to write it down or to draw it, talk about it, get it out of your system, you know. We tried to distract ourselves with other ideas, which was rather effective. We kept going for a while until finally the idea was completely gone, erased from our brains. Have a look at the clock. If you see the theme of the game jam being removed right in front of your eyes, you know you're perfectly on time. But wait, how did I even end up in a team with Yen? Time to undo that. Yen, I do not want to participate in the Ludum Dare game jam with you. Send. Unclick the subscribe button if you don't want anything to do with game development and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.